Cool. All right. Next up, um, I know you pointed this out too. This uh, there's this trigger event function that takes a string. Magic and, strings. Yeah, magic strings. Magic strings. So it basically the adventure controller has a trigger event function that takes a string, and I assume that it. I mean, I'm I'm no expert, but it triggers some sort of event. But it's using this. Yes. Ma- <laughs> yes, yes. So it's using this magic string. What do we do with those magic strings? So. Uh, the the simple naive answer would be for someone to say make an enum, and I've gone on a rant before where I've said don't do that because an enum is a defined list of things that shouldn't have to change. This isn't an enum because realistically there'll be many many events that may need to change. So we need to find a way to put in something in here that can be triggered that is um, statically typed but also changeable. Mm-hmm. And so the quick and dirty answer is make a constant string or something. Yeah. Just a nice, simple constant string. And um, for people who don't know, constant strings literally, when compiled, turn into the value. Which it may sound obvious, but it's not the same thing as a variable. If you have a variable, the variable will be placed in memory and it'll reference it across the different parts. If you uh, make a constant string, literally, in if you open and decompile the code, it will have the value of the string in it in all those places. Which means there's no lookup, there's no uh, reference resource or anything. It's just that is literally what the value is. Um, so there's that. And then as you start to get more robust with this and you do lots more stuff, you can automate this process. So what you can do is you could create a file that contains all of these as a single one and manages all of your different tags. Uh, then you could even do things like literally convert the tags into an automatic script by using some sort of... Um, you know, using the the activator or, or something else. I think I might actually do that because um, I think it's probably checked in the adventure adventure controller. You know, mm-hmm. it probably has to check the same string. So if we go to the other side of this whole thing, um, let me find where that adventure controller was. It was trigger event. Uh, okay, so it contains a a set of triggers. Also, I'm getting, again, I'm getting triggered there. right now. Yeah, that, that every time you trigger, there could be null exceptions, which are going to cause judders every time that hits. Oh, I'm sorry. So, we don't we don't need to go this deep. I just thought it. Was, I thought he was going to have some sort of if or switch in there that was checking strings that I could uh, use it as, as an example. But all right, never mind. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, Control Alt D is is introduce field. Cool. <laughs> you know, my problem. Um, I'm usually uh, really uh, good at becoming a power user at programs, but I constantly switch from Visual Studio with ReSharper to IntelliJ, which is the Java version of Writer. It actually came before uh, Writer, and then to Writer. And I've tried to set it up to where they all have the same mapping, but... They even have an IntelliJ setting for Writer, but it doesn't do everything the same. It doesn't do everything the same. So what I really need to do, I don't know what I really need to do. I guess it's just, what now what I've uh, resulted to, I'll just do double shift, and I'll just type the thing. Like if I want to make a new class, or I just do new, or like I've just, you've seen me do rename, or I think you can even just type in refactor this. So I got to learn them all, but I just keep switching. Had uh, whatever it is, 15 years or 12 years of working with Visual Studio. Um, it's going to be, I'm still only like six months into using Rider or so, so <laughs> maybe a year, uh, it's hard to tell, but either way, not long enough to have unlearned all of the shortcuts <laughs> that I used to know. Yeah. So every so often I still find myself going, you know, uh, control RM or control RR or RC or, um, control MO I used to love, but that doesn't work anymore. That's oh, close, closing all the regions. There's just so many little shortcuts that... You know what screwed me up too? I got I got a ten keyless keyboard, and it doesn't have insert. It doesn't have any uh, F uh, function keys, the F one through F twelve or whatever. It's missing a whole bunch of the keys that I used to love using. Like it's tight. It's you know I love that, but God, I miss my, I miss those keys. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mine doesn't have those either. But I've I've never really been a fan. I use a nice ten keyless as well. I miss I I miss like insert. I would use insert a lot. And I use a program called Total Commander for file um, navigation in Windows, and it does take, it leverages a lot of the F keys. So that's for me, that's why I liked it. But yeah, I don't know.